Hi everyone, I'm just going to do a quick beer review. This is the last one from Matt at EVS Bristol Brewing. And it is his NBA one. I thought it was like the National Basketball Association. No, not that. No balls added. No. What it is, is no brew ale which I've never tried before so we thought we'll give it a go he said is it it's like a trial batch thing this gave it to what is bloody hell sorry about that sorry about that right then what it is is no boiled ale so it used one and a half kilos of Pilsner malt crystal 80 carapels car for free Polenka flour, polenta flour, into put to ask, and blood orange zest. So he's done that in a couple of rows now. Uh, so a 60 minute mash out at 65 degrees, mashed out to 78 degrees. With a hot tea in the cafeteria with 50 grams of um, cascade, left to stand for 20 minutes, added after mash out, Irish moss, and 14 grams. Of cascade added straight after my shout as well. Hot stand for 20 minutes ish. You're chilled in the sink using cold running water, which we've all done. Uh, I thought it'd be important to pitch the yeast as, it, it, as soon as possible. It, it normally does, it's no chill. Uh, original gravity roughly 1054, so it's quite a high. And you use a, a full pack of gave in. Yeast GV12, not as I think it's a Nottingham strain. I've used that one before. With yeast nutrient re rehydrated, put a spoon full of ice and sugar to wake it up. And it took off like a rocket. It's an it glad he put a blow off tube on it. Then he's put 15 grams of Warrior dry up after three days. I usually use it as bittering up, but I'll see what it do. Would it, no, normally it's a bit of not. You know, you try to see what they did it when they dry up. So basically, you had loads of load of grains left, malts left, um, hops left, and also he read about doing his no boil ale, and he thought he'd give it a go. But he only did a gallon batch. So when he first tasted it, he said it tasted weird. That means it's sort of tangy, smells a bit green. But it's, it's definitely to stick it away in the cupboard for a while. But I've had it up quite a few weeks. So I'll give it a go. I think he's going to try it again, but a different, different, different version of it. I've never tried it. I've messed about with only a couple of beer. Well, messed about. I put fruit in beer, and I did a a beer with no hops. Once real bad beer with no hops. It was all right, but I'm not going to do it again. So we will get it cracked open. So it's nice and clear in the jar, in the jar, in the bottle. Standard pint glass. Let's see what this beer is like. I haven't got a clue what it's going to supposed to taste like. I ain't done no reading up about it. Got a bit of a hiss. A little bit of can of smoke, you see. A little bit of froth there. Nice one. It smells, t yeah, t tangy, fruity. A bit like, like trop, trop, the, the trop, tropical flavor smell. Hmm, yeah, see that's probably the cascade then. It's not like yesterday. Okay. No point messing up, leaving it to keep sniffing it. Let's get this bad boy prepared. Darker than I thought, that's probably the crystal. Don't want to give it too much of a head in case it jumps out like a bloody rocket. Stop it there. It's quite dark, huh? Oh, it's like a ruby red. I think it's darker here than it is on camera for some reason. Bottle conditioned. Put the use on the bottom. First thing, appearances look spot on that. Carbonated. 
see my ugly mud filter. Look, no, you can you fuck? Can you not? No, kind of right distance. Nice tight head. Cling to the jar. Jar again. Bottle glass. Right, this is the first beer I've had today. I've just done a brew there as well. So, cheers, Matt. Let's see what this is like. Yeah, it is fruity. And that's like a, like a, like a tropical. I'm going for it, so if I don't see well again, it's been nice knowing you. Cheers, Matt. Oh, so actually, different. It's a medium mouthfeel. It's not weak, and it's not a strong mouthfeel. It may be a little bit different once it's warmed up. Yeah, I've, I've just took it out of the fridge, but it was different than I expected. For some reason I expected a real thick tasting gloopy beer. For some reason, I don't know why, I got it in my head, that's what it's supposed to taste like. But you say it smells spot on. If would I brew it? I don't know. I don't I don't know if I do it a big batch with no boil. I guess I might do one like, like Matt's done, a small one gallon batch. And that's not that's all right, Matt. It's probably better than you you expect. It's like you say, you've had, I don't know if you've got any left. But I think you can do like a, a splash version of it. But it's really nice, Matt. <coughs> so I appreciate you sending these out to me. It's the last one in a series of five or six you've sent me. So I much appreciate it, bud. And. They've all been real good, mate. Thanks very much, mate. Take care. Cheers, bud.